Thank you so much for watching The Christian View, where we're talking about laziness, and we are going to discuss spiritual laziness. But before we get there, what does the Bible say about sleep, Cameron? Laziness cast into a deep sleep, and the idle man is going to suffer hunger. You know, if you love sleep, you might as well say you love poverty. If you love mm -hmm. sleep, you might as well say you, you love failure. And so the Bible lets you know very, very easily and very uh, precisely, especially Proverbs, that if you want to actually achieve something in life, you have to fall in love with work. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. In America now, we've made work like that four-letter word that we don't mm -hmm. want to do. We're looking for a three-day work week. We're looking right. for all these other things. And we're teaching our children after us now to not want to actually get involved. And we want to just be lazy and... We all want our kids to have it better than we, do. Than we get. And we had it great. Yeah. So yeah. what are we mm -hmm. doing to them? But, but what, we, what do we say is, better is, right? Better is what a is character. Better? Right. Better, to me, better is a character quality. Better is discipline. Better is life skills that not make you better, not right. giving you something. Not making someone yeah. codependent on you because yeah. you're doing everything for them. Right. I, yeah. I think we have a very codependent mm -hmm. society because let me do this for you so you don't have to do it. And, and not trying, you know, not putting a different spin, but I think, too, if we really look at it, a lot of parents have become lazy in the respect of trying to keep their children on track mm. because they're giving in to the pressure of the kids are coming home yeah. saying everybody else is doing it, we're Something doing it this right. way, mm -hmm. technology's got it. and parents are just almost not wanting to seem like the outlier and not wanting to be the one that's forceful mm -hmm. and their kids right. are not so happy true. with them so they're just being lazy just and not be lazy different. in parenting. Yes, right. you know? right. yes. what, what, what's happening is that because society is so much, you know, as, as Christians especially we're going upstream mm -hmm. after a while it's not just that you're lazy you become tired mm -hmm. yes. yeah. of going upstream but the thing is that you have to be strong enough you have right. to be able to add that diligence to make sure that you don't retire back into society mm, right. and then you're going to make your children lazy but you make them lazy out of your just you being tired and we, yeah. and we do it sometime out of guilt i remember when i'm going through a, a divorce tired tired. and um, <laughs> i had my daughter you know living with me and a lot of things that i thought that i was you know sheltering her from and doing different things i was realizing i was setting her up for failure if i didn't stop and start holding her accountable right. because i had to realize kids are very resilient mm -hmm. and many times they bounce back quicker mm -hmm. than the adults mm -hmm. do right. but do. parents sometimes I'm thinking, oh, I don't want my child to suffer. I don't want my I child to go through we this. We feel guilty. So I'll just, You're yes. always like feeling guilty as a parent, but it's really the best thing you can do is teach them to stand on there. But if you see them struggling with a bill, and, it's okay. yeah. and if you see them having a hard time, the first thing you want to do is come to the rescue. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about the caterpillar story? You all yes. know it, where the little mm -hmm. caterpillar was in the cocoon, mm -hmm. and the dad and the little boy were there, and the dad, the boy said, "Look at that caterpillar struggling so much." And so the dad opened the cocoon mm -hmm. with scissors, yes. and the caterpillar fell to the ground and died because right. it is the struggle in the, the cocoon process, right. that helps it, the yeah. process yeah. that right. helps it grow to the butterfly. There's a great, there's a great so. book out called a gift of failure and it's yeah. okay mm -hmm. to let our kids fail yeah. so that they can move forward yes. but we're so busy like the, ca the cocoon mm -hmm. we want to keep them so safe we we're do. afraid for yes. them to mess yeah. up. You know we, we miss that the spirit of the father right he led Jesus into the wilderness to go into all the process of having to fight and struggle and yes. to maintain his identity. Mm -hmm. But you can't have that, that you know, and, and, and when you take a look at scripture, it's like we overcome, but nobody wants to have something to overcome. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So Rick Warren said, easy is the most popular word in America. He said, could you imagine a book title that said 10 difficult steps to change your life or 15 <laughs> difficult ways to get in shape? It's right. like nobody would nobody buy it. Would buy it. Yes. You know, the Bible says, it says not to Love sleep. It didn't say you couldn't like it. Right. I like sleep. You seen that thing on Facebook that people have like been putting? I wish I could just be a little kid and take a nap, and everybody just be proud of me. Yeah. No. You know, that's that's so kind of me. But, but you know, I mean, we do. We need sleep. We we're do. just we not to we love yeah, sleep right. to where we're just mm -hmm. wasting away our time. I think Spending we have all to make of our that time in the bed. Yeah. We have yeah. to make that We got to get up sometime. We're back on. The scripture tells us too. You know, when he talks about it, it's high time for us to wake out of sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I think it's when it's speaking of referring to, we are missing too many opportunities. Right. Yeah. Right. Opportunities for the kingdom. We are That's becoming right. apathetic mm -hmm. in our walk, spiritual apathetic spirit. in our spiritual life right. because we're allowing the 
uh, just the status quo to fan us to sleep as a Christian church yeah. and forgetting that we're the salt of the earth, right. but we're taking a back seat. In <laughs> I didn't know it goes further than that. Right. Listen, the sluggard buries his ha hand in the dish the and is too lazy to, to bring the spoon bring wow, back see? to his right. mouth. No, that's yeah. deep. So he's going <laughs> that's to yeah. starve yeah. because yeah. he's too lazy With yeah. the food to bring right the there. spoon back to his mouth. Well, and right. even Jesus said to the disciples, he came and he found them sleeping and he had to ask mm -hmm. them to pray in his yes. darkest hour and he said, could you not stay Terry, away wow. at least wow. one hour yes. and pray for me here? Yes. I mean, what's right. the problem? I know. That's, That's Jesus. But you know, oh, go ahead. Well, you know in Proverbs where it talks about being afraid to go out because the roaring lion. Yes. Well, you know, I, there might be a lion. Right, right. But you know what? I do think like <laughs> there, is, there are some times where you just become so overwhelmed that you feel like you're like stunned and you can't do anything. And so I did read this great thing that said, you know, you need to ask yourself why. Like, why am I paralyzed? Why yes. am I stuck here? Mm -hmm. in, is it indecisiveness? Is it fear? Is it's it perfect? Right, right. yes. Perfectionism. Sometimes, you know, if it's not perfect, we just don't want to do it. Yeah. But then the flip side said, and then ask God to help right. you overcome whatever yes. that reason that has you mm -hmm. stuck mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. because I can do all things through right. Christ who strengthens me. So you ask the Holy Spirit to enable you right. to do what you need to do. Exactly. So. And everything mm -hmm. we're doing should be doing in God's strength anyway, not yes. our own. Right. That's right. right. Scripture yes. says we are, we'll get a reward if we labor and do not grow weary, but mm -hmm. we can't do that in our own strength. It has to become, as we renew our mind, like Rebecca mm -hmm. said, and you mm -hmm. know, spending time with the Lord, that's when our strength comes from. So we can get up at but five again, in the morning if we it's, need it's to. just like you guys have said, when you don't get out of bed, mm -hmm. when you don't get out into the public area, you're isolating yourself. Right. Yeah. And there again, there may it's be a job that yes. God has given you, people on this job that God has put in there that you could possibly lead to Him. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And it perpetuates. If you don't take action, you don't take action. Yeah. Right. Energy mm -hmm. begets yeah. energy. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to get to spiritual laziness. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.